Marcus, how do you make your kefir? Kefir is basically fermented milk, and it's really simple to make at home. I have been making this for about two to three months now. People that have a hard time digesting dairy, hey, if you pre-ferment dairy or ferment anything, what you're doing is you're bringing bacteria into, this, into the equation. They're breaking down things that are in the food that are often difficult for you to digest. In this case, kefir is fermented milk, which is getting some of the lactose pre-digested. So if you have a hard time digesting lactose, this could be a way to reintroduce dairy into your life if you're looking for dairy at your breakfast or another meal of the day. I love it. It's been helping me with some digestive health and really it just tastes good. It's another great way to get in probiotics into your system. So the this, this situation here is this is how I make it. It's a two day process. This is finished kefir and it has a little bit of a yogurt consistency. It's like watery yogurt. I drink it and uh, I have about a cup every morning. But what it starts as is this. This is my kefir ferment. At the top, you see some little chunks. What those are are kefir grains. It's basically clusters of bacteria that are specific for milk-based kefir. They take the milk and they digest it in their own way, and that's what ferments. So I start with a pile of grains. They look kind of like cheese curds. They're at the bottom. I then take a raw milk. I get, this is from grass grazed cows in California, raw milk. You can buy this at California grocery stores and some other grocery stores in other states. It is hard to find raw milk everywhere in every state. You might have to consult with a local farmer to see if you can get some directly from the source. But I take that and I pour and cover the grains so it fills up this whole jar. Then, Kefir grains do not like metal, so I cover with a cheesecloth. Then I tighten it down with this little lid, and this sits on my countertop for two days. At the end of two days, I pop this lid, take it off, and then I need to strain out the grains. I put this over a bowl, and I pour this directly in. Remember, kefir grains don't like metal, so I have a silicon strainer, and the same thing with my spatula. I strain, 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 strain. Everything that comes out the bottom is my delicious kefir. What's left are the kefir grains. They go back into another jar, pour the milk on top, let it sit on the countertop for two more days, and the cycle goes and goes and goes. If you ever decide that you're, I've had enough, I don't need any more kefir, I need to take a break, you cover your kefir grains in a little bit of milk, toss them in the refrigerator, and that stops the fermenting process or it slows it way down. So you can wait a week, maybe 10 days before you pick it up and bring it back out on the countertop. What you need is you need raw milk, you need kefir grains, you need room temperature, and you need time. And that's what's gonna make fermented milk or kefir, which is like a watery or milky, uh, liquidy yogurt, and it tastes delicious. If that's something you wanna try, give it a go. Ask me some questions in the comments.